Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review The Forest. So, The Forest stars Natalie Dormer, who is from the popular TV series Game of Thrones, and the film is about this woman who has to go to Japan to find her twin sister in the suicide forest while she is in the suicide forest. Creepy things ensue in the forest and honestly that's all you need to know about the forest. It's just plain and simple that way. This is a horror film that starts off the year and we have this trend where horror films always start off the new year for movies. The Forest happens to be the horror film that starts off 2016 just like how The Woman in Black 2 started off 2015. Then we had Paranormal Activity of the Mark ones to start off 2014, Texas Chainsaw 3 to start off 2013, etc, etc. The list goes on. The Forest, uh, it's not good. But, it's not bad. Like, it's a horror movie that starts off the new year for movies. And I gotta say, it starts off the year to an meh, okay start. I will definitely say this, it is much better than the shit fest known as Texas Chainsaw 3D or Paranormal Activity, The Marked Ones. So my positives with The Forest is that the cinematography does look really good. It is very well lit for the most part. There's times where I think the lighting could have been worked more on, but I still say I did really enjoy the cinematography for The Forest. I do think it's a well-directed movie for the most part, and it's actually from first-time director Jason Zada. This is his directorial debut, and I have to say he actually did a pretty good job for this being his first time. Natalie Dormer, she does a really good job acting in this film, and I have to definitely say she is the strongest performance because the rest of the performances, I'll get to that later, but she was definitely the strongest and definitely the best part about the forest. There were actually some moments in the forest that I did find to be pretty intense. Like, there's actually times where I was actually at the edge of my seat a little bit, and I thought for how some of those moments were handled, they were handled very well. And the last positive I did have with the forest that I was actually quite impressed by is the sound mixing. I thought the sound mixing actually flowed very well in this film. And just the concept of going into a suicide forest is very interesting to me. And I do think in some spots they do use that concept very well. But my negatives with the forest is that the movie does get very uninteresting. There are times where I was definitely just very bored. The movie does get very predictable. You know where it's gonna go. It does feel very repetitive because as we are in the forest, it just feels like she's running around and tripping like, dear goodness, have a drinking game for every time this chick freaking trips and falls. There was a point in the film where I was actually like, is this film going somewhere? Because it just felt like the same old thing after a while. As for the acting, like I said, Natalie Dormer is really the only shining spot in terms of acting. All the other performances, they're fine. They're not bad performances. They're definitely not the worst performances I've seen. Everyone does a fine job with their acting, but it's nothing too special. So basically in terms of good performances, Natalie Dormer is the only one we can basically hold on to. And really, her character is the only character I actually gave a damn about. And I do have to say what is probably my biggest negative with The Forest is the ending. The ending just does not work. It just goes into the cliched, oh, we have to end with a jump scare because, yeah, that's horror films. We always need to have an ending shot with the jump scare. And I would say like a good, probably like seven, at last 10 minutes of the movie, it just wasn't really going anywhere. And I kind of felt like when we were going to the end, the movie was gonna really end nowhere. And honestly, it just doesn't, and it has a very lame twist. It just makes the entire film feel pointless. But overall, guys, The Forest was just an okay movie. I didn't hate it. You know, like for a horror film that starts off the new year for films, I thought it was okay. I'll give The Forest two out of four stars. 
And honestly, I do think that's a fair rating because I didn't hate this film, but I was just sitting here going, yeah, it had potential to be better, honestly. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know, what did you think of The Forest? And I actually want to know from you guys, what is the worst horror film you've ever seen that starts off the new year. Say for example, The Devil Inside, The Unborn, Texas Chainsaw, Paranormal Activity of the Marked Ones, The Woman in Black 2, you know, whatever horror film you thought was terrible, the absolute worst that starts off the new year for movies, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I always appreciate your support. This is Tony aka 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!